I've been asked, do we know the direction to the center of the universe? And this is a great question. It's a common one, too, because you think that the universe is expanding outwards. We, we've known that for a long time, that it started in the Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago, and it's, it's expanding. So there must be a center of the universe. Um, and it turns out there is no center of the universe. And this is so totally mind-blowing in a, in a long line of mind-blowing stuff about cosmology, about the study of the universe, that uh, it's, it's actually a little bit difficult to explain. And I've written about this in the past, and it's tough. But imagine you have the Earth, and I should probably have it right side up, although the squishy ball Earth of science actually, um, I don't think it has a, it's not really a great representation of the Earth, but it's close enough. So here's the Earth, and, the, and if you were standing on the surface of the Earth, and imagine you were a two-dimensional creature, just like a little, a little flatworm or an ant or something, crawling around on the surface of the Earth, you could walk all over the surface, and you'd never find the center, would you? Because the center is not on the surface, it's in the middle of the ball. The, the surface is like a two-dimensional thing wrapped around a three-dimensional object. It's, you can imagine taking a piece of paper and wrapping it around the Earth, unfolding that paper, it's sort of two-dimensional, you can only move in you know, uh, north, south, and east, west, but there's no up, down. You can curve that and wrap it around the Earth, and you can walk all around the Earth and still never find the center, because the center is not located in those two dimensions. So you might think, well, maybe the same thing is true for the universe. We have three physical dimensions, uh, you know, uh, length, width, and height. And you could say, well, maybe the, the universe is curved, space is curved, and so therefore the center of the universe is not located anywhere in those three dimensions because maybe we're wrapped around a fourth dimensional hypersphere or something like that. And it turns out that's not really true. That doesn't work so well either. Um, in fact, the universe simply doesn't have a center. This works as well. You can have curved space without it really having anything to curve into. This, this all kind of goes part and parcel with the idea that um, the universe must have an edge. What's it expanding into? All of these things. But in fact, the way relativity works, Einstein's uh, thoughts on the way space and time are put together, it's the universe is a little stranger than we can imagine. And in fact, it's not curved into anything. It just exists all by itself. And that it's not expanding into anything because the universe is everything. And so there's no edge to the universe. You can go out forever and ever and ever and never reach the edge. Um, in some ways you might go back and reach where you started from. That's probably not the way the universe really works. You could just keep going forever. But you'd never actually hit the edge. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling and disturbing a little bit. But in the same way it doesn't have an edge, it doesn't even really have a center. The Big Bang, you always see this in animations, and this makes me nuts. It starts as a point and goes bang, and you see stuff expanding outwards. But that's not really what happened. The universe wasn't an explosion in space that expanded. It was an explosion of space, space itself was made in the Big Bang. And space itself is what is expanding. So it's not expanding into anything. It's just sort of stretching outwards. So the universe isn't expanding into anything. The universe doesn't have an edge. The universe doesn't have a center. Um, any place in the universe can be called the center as well as any place else or nothing. Um, you know, some people like to say the Earth is the center of the universe, and that's perfectly fine to say that mathematically, but really any place can be the center of the universe. Nothing has a, a special position. And so it's a good question. It's an obvious question. You, you know, you think about where is the center of the universe. But in fact, uh, the answer is there is none. So, you know, if that keeps you up at night, uh, good, because it keeps a lot of people up at night.